Hey guys, today we are going to be putting this interior back together. So that's all cleaned up, ready to go. I'll show you the carpet now that it's dry. So there's still a little bit of staining in it. Not a whole lot really though. A lot of it's going to be covered by the seats anyway. But that'll work. It's a lot better than it was. So let's get this carpet in. Start getting all the trim pieces on. So this carpet's got little clips on this edge here that just clip on the side or on this little lip here. Looks like that was broken. Let's go clip those on. And then around here we got clips too. Get those all on. And just go up, tuck everything up underneath there. I'll show you the other side. You might have to trim the carpet a little bit where you're new. I mean, if you're doing a different throttle pedal, you may have to trim the carpet underneath it. Yeah, that is hitting, so I'm going to have to trim that just right underneath that pedal a little bit where the arm hits. And yeah, other than that, pretty easy. We'll go in, get the side, the big side pieces in around the windows. Uh, I haven't figured out rear seats yet, if I'm going to recover them or get new ones or what. So I'm not going to be able to get the rear seats in yet, but we'll get those sides in. Alright, well I went to go put those side panels on. Um, I got new seat belts because my stock ones were pretty nasty. Um, but it ends up those new seat belts I got don't fit. So I got to clean mine up over there. Got them hanging up and drying. I just washed them up with degreaser and some Dawn dish soap and they cleaned up alright so let them dry out so in the meantime this dash panel is all cracked up so I'm gonna pull that off and I got a new one right over there I'm gonna throw in there clean everything else on the dash up because I haven't even touched that yet so we will get that all pulled off and for some reason they had a trailer brake set up on here, which I don't know why you'd need that on a Toyota, but I'm going to go and pull all that off too. So I'll show you guys what it looks like pulling that dash out and how to do it if you've never done it before. It's not too hard. So first thing we need to do is pull the cup holder off and just give it a yank. It comes right out. And then we'll pull this panel off. I always put these all in the middle. Just pull these knobs off. And then this has got clips. You can see one right there. You just kind of got to work it out. Be careful, they're, they get brittle. So just kind of pull on it, wiggle it. Should pop right out.
That bottom one's more of a pain. Oh, that AC button wasn't even hooked up. There we go. That comes off just like that. Pull this off, same deal, just clips. Just like so. Don't break them. Next, this whole panel comes off. Um, actually, I think this one comes off first. This lower panel around the radio. So let me pull your ashtray. It's been a while since I've done this. So I think there's that screw, that screw. There was a screw there. There was a screw there, but they had the glove box off already. All right, now we're gonna pull the column cover off this lower piece here, and then this radio surround. Get that all ripped off here. I see what it's going on here. There's a screw under this this brake controller that I didn't see, so I'm gonna have to pull that off. Get that screw off. It screws into that piece. To unplug the speaker, and you gotta take this cable off of the hood latch. Which it just slides through here and then you gotta pull the cable off of the inside right here. You just pull the cable off and out through this groove here. Now we can get this off. Look like there's one screw on the top here. And the rest is clips. Unplug the wiring. three. Next got pull the cluster. There is just four screws on each corner of it. And then you pull it out as far as you can and you got to get behind it and pull the wiring off and then the speedo cable if you have a cable driven speedo
just like that. Now to get the rest of this dash pad out, we're going to have to pull the radio off. You just pull these two remaining screws off of the heater controls and then there's a few 10 millimeter bolts here, here. That one's already off from the other section. And then there's a few more over here. So we'll do that now. Radio out. Make sure that's loose. Go ahead and pull this off. And let's pull some bolts off. There's one here, about 10 millimeter. There's one in the very back. This side should be free. Get all that wiring out of the way. There is a screw right here. Actually, no, that's not for that. Never mind. There's one more 10 millimeter bolt here. And then the back is clipped in. So I'm gonna just pull this whole dash pad. Just pull it straight out. Go to the other side. Unclip this side. You gotta pull this little harness off of it. There's a little clip in there, or a little groove it sits in. And just kind of wiggle it out. Another thing you gotta look at is. There's a, uh, this duct right here goes to this vent, so you have to pull that off. Let's see. Should just slide out of there. Yep, just like that. Get my fresh, clean carpet all dirty. And I'm hoping I can get that out, that dash pad out without pulling the steering wheel. Let's see. There we go. All right, so we're going to put that dash panel back in. Got it cleaned up. No cracks in this one. Let me get it in here and get her situated. Okay. 
Make sure you pull your wires out for the cluster. And these switches over here so you don't bury them somewhere. Alright guys, let's get this back buttoned up. So I just, <clears throat> I bolted the seat belts back in. We should be able to slide those through the holes in the side cover. So let's give it a go, see what it, see what she does. it so obviously tighten all those bolts up and that side panels on so I'm gonna do the same thing on this side and that's about it all right guys well that's about as far as I'm gonna go with the interior for now like I said I gotta trace some wires out of the cluster and get all that figured out for my wiring so I'm gonna leave all that apart for now so that's how it looks right now so this project's about done next one is going to be a little more fun so stay tuned next video probably be a little more exciting than just cleaning up an interior so stay tuned <laughs>